The second type of coordinate system that we can use to analyze curvilinear motion is called tangent normal coordinate system. And it looks something like this. And this is my particle. And the particle can be traveling along a curved path, a random curved path. And along this path, I can define a point okay, where at this instant right here, it is as if it's part of a circle. Okay. At this very instant, at this point. And this okay, distance going from the path to the center of the row or radius of curvature. Uh, 
received with respect to data. And so that's how they're related. So with these basic quantities defined, well, let's look at the velocity and acceleration. The velocity for this particle and the tangent normal coordinate system can be expressed as something in the ut and then something in the un, tangent normal direction. And velocity is always tangent to the path, so this is simply v, ut. And velocity can never be normal to the path, so the component okay, in the normal direction is zero. Okay, so therefore, velocity equals v ut. What about acceleration? Well, acceleration by definition equals v ut. Now, since v vector equals this guy right here, so v ut. This is a variable, this is also a variable. So you can use chain rule. So this equals dv ut, ut is same, plus v, v ut, dt. Now, dv dt is simply the acceleration, okay? Acceleration which is tangent to the path. So simply just a. And it's called a t or tangential component. And this right here, yeah, this is already in the UT direction, but this we need to do something. And okay? so we don't know what direction that is. Okay? So let's do something about this guy.
So, two components. Okay? So, you can rewrite this as AT UT plus AN UN. Okay? So, tangential component, the normal component, where okay, where AT simply is rate of change of velocity. And AN is V squared over rho. Okay. So this is the expression for acceleration and this is velocity for the tangent normal coordinate system. Next, let's look at an example.